welcome friends welcome to jce connect in today's video we are going to discuss about the specification in building construction this is part one where we are going to discuss about the definition objects of specification use of specification and different types of specification now before going in detail i'll show you one uh, one measurement sheet and there i'll show you where the specification will be there so that you can easily understand what is specification my friends this is a measurement sheet where you know that you'll be having serial number particulars then number of uh, items then length width depth and quantity remarks so that will be the measurement sheet here in this measurement sheet i'm showing you only the particulars column right so here first work here you can see that it is uh, a concreting work right and below that you'll be having two phrases those two phrases will be telling you how to execute that work which type of material you are supposed to use and now uh, how to uh, carry out that work into the field that what they have given there that information is there in these two phrases now if you read it if you try to read it out it's a bit blur but i'll try to read it out now see that first sentence says that providing machine mixing and laying a plain cement concrete m10 1 is to 3 is to 6 in foundation now this is what this is what they have said that which type of mixing should be there which ratio it should have which material you are going to use whether you are going to use uh, 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 you know uh, uh, m10 ratio or some 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 other ratios are there what will be the water cement ratio then which type of cement you are going to use which type of sand you are going to use which type of aggregate you are going to use all those details will be there in these two phrases now this information we called as what this is specification i hope you have got that idea what it means a specification so this is a brief specification we call it as what general specification there are two types of specification one is a brief or general specification another one is detailed specification right so detailed specification that we are going to use you no know, to uh, as as a contracting document where the details about that project project will be given and how to execute that project will be given right so a brief specification will be there in the measurement sheet now here i am going to show you the some of the uh, you no know, measurement sheets and their specification now here this measurement sheet is having uh, uh, this is this is an abstract sheet this is having uh, a very brief description about the material or particular item now see that what it says first item is earthwork excavation second says that cement concreting one is to four is to eight now which type of concrete you are supposed to use that is the information right here if i say only cement concrete now which type you are going to use but they have mentioned it is one is to four is to eight means which proportion you are supposed to follow that they have mentioned that we called as what that is specification dear friends now further going in details just what you should understand the role of civil engineer the power of civil engineer what civil engineer can do now the civil engineer can bring the ideas into the reality that is the power of civil engineer and this specification will help that civil engineer to bring back the ideas into the reality now as i said that the information about the work and about the material is a specification for a particular item no its quality its size and shape are very important they matter so lot so that will be given in this specification specification is a tool which engineers use to convert the ideas into the reality it guides in selecting the materials and also the execution of work and no it deals basically it deals with the uh, uh, with the with the method, method of execution with the con qualities of material nature of labor to be employed proportion in which materials are to be mixed and measurement of a work done right so this is how that specification is going to help the civil engineer it is a basic guide to civil engineer to bring back the ideas into the reality so what we are going to see today in today's video say so that what i have given in this content that we are going to see the um, uh, you know the introduction about the specification then object use of specification type of specification and classification of specification dear friends for a construction industry or for any kind of a project there will be an sequence of a you no know, uh, of that project whole life will be there in that life you can easily divide the stages you will be having a idealization stage where uh, a particular person will be having the idea what he is going to do right and then planning stage 
the engineers are going to bring that idea into the reality and then now reality it means that they are going to bring that idea on the papers that we call as what planning stage then the third stage is execution stage now between this planning stage and execution stage there is a mobilization stage right that we call as what uh, contract stage right so where uh, civil engineers are going to uh, prepare the some you know uh, some conditions to execute that work so those conditions we call them as what specification right and uh, uh, the whatever the drawings and plans we are preparing there right the drawings of a structure will shows the proportion and the relative positions of a various parts of that particular project it is not possible to furnish the data regarding the quality of materials and workmanship on the drawing due to the shortage of space hence this information regarding the quality of material and workmanship is conveyed in a separate contract document that that i said that no uh, this will be there in the mobilization stage in the contract no uh, con the, the contracting stage right uh, now, now now as i said that uh, separate contract document to be prepared which is that we called as what that is the specification what it will be there in that particular contract document is that how to execute the work which type of material you are supposed to use and you know how to maintain the quality of the work right that we called as what specification now if you you know in in generally this 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 is derived this word specification is derived from the a uh, french word called specifier and in latin also we we call it as what spe, you know uh, specific here right it means that description describing right so uh, no it is it is it is a a combination of a drawing and specification will completely define the structure the combination of drawing and specification will completely define the structure physically as well as technically now in general see the construction specification also we call in the normal term we call the specs are details of the work that needs to be completed in a construction project these details include information such as material scope of work installation process and quality of work then um, subcontractors and teams use these specs as a guide to choose the right material for the specific project the spec uh, the specs discussed between the project owner and the contractor become a part of legal document for the project now this is this is the specification this is detailed specification see as i said that there are two types of specification one is brief specification that we use in the measurement sheet as i shown you previously and the detailed specification will be there that we use at we use it as a contract document architects or designers or the engineers create the construction specification before work actually starts but many involves project you no know, uh, engineers for a technical help in every construction project the specifications are broadly divided into two categories one is brief or general specification and second is uh, detailed uh, specification as i said that the brief uh, specification will be having a, a brief idea about the material and that what we are going to use in the measurement sheet while doing the estimation and detailed specification will be all about the execution since from the you no know, uh, use of material and maintaining the quality and the execution all those things will be there in the detail specification now if you are going to see the objects of specification mainly you can divide three objects or can get three objects there first it models the quality of material and workmanship and you no know, it serves as a guide to the contractor as well as to the supervisor it helps in fulfilling the need of design this is what all these three objects are there now if you check it out the purposes that now uh, now why you are going to use the specification that the object uh, we have seen that it, it it gives you three object and same it serves the purposes for the specification the cost of an uh, unit quantity of a work is governed by its specification specification of work is required to describe the quality and the quantity uh, of a different materials required for the construction work and is one of essential contract document this also specifies the workmanship and method of doing the work thus specification of a work serves as a guide to the supervising the staff of a con contractor as well as uh, to the owner to execute the work to their satisfaction 
right a work is carried out uh, according to its specification and contractor is paid for the same any change in the specification change changes the tender rate also it as i said that uh, since from the materials uh, the way of execution also going to be fixed in the specification so as it changes the rate is also going to be changed so this is how see so many uh, purposes are there that what it serves right so uh, so 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 right you, you should understand you know how that specification is playing a role there now it is basically depends see on the type which type of specification uh, specification is there and where you are going to use those types so that is very important now basically you are having two major types one is general or brief specification and second is detailed specification now if you see the general or brief description uh, it it gives only brief uh, no description of each and every item of particular work it gives the uh, brief description of item whereas the detailed specification it details out about the quality quantity proportion and execution of work right so these things will be there these this this is the difference between the these two uh, you know uh, types now as i said that general specification in general specification nature and class of work and name of particular material uh, that should be used are described only a brief description of each and every item is given it is useful for estimating uh, the project general specification do not form a part of contract document as i said that only short description will be there for example say cement concrete tm10 1 to 3 to 6 to be used or to be laid right this is this is the sentence right as i shown in into that uh, measurement sheet also right that we call as what general specification now for the detail specification see the detail specification uh, uh, form a part of a document right they specify the qualities quantities proportion of a material and method of preparation and execution of a particular item of a work in a project the detail specification of a different item of a work are prepared separately and they describe what the work should be and how they shall be executed while writing the detail specification the same order or sequence as the work is to be carried out is to be maintained right now this is a very important thing that how the detail specification will be there as i said that it it gives the ratio it forms the ratio right mixing quality of material then execution of work now damping vibration carrying out all those things it it is going to give you even the conveying which type of you no know, uh, the conveying uh, tool you are supposed to use or how you are going to convey this uh, that also will be given in the detail specification now this is going to be a part of uh, uh, a document right where uh, it will be possible to owner as well as engineer as well as contractor to you know maintain the quality of work as per their requirement and now uh, if you see the different types as we have discussed that we are having basically two types uh, one is brief description uh, the brief description and another one is detail specification as i said that that brief we are going to use into the estimation uh, right but that will not be a part of a contract document fair the detail will be a contract document now the detail specification it forms the provisions right uh, uh, it, it will be having see that uh, it will be having three different provisions as i have given the right detail specification forms a part of a contract document and they are divided into the three groups right we call them as provisions right first is uh, general provision then uh, technical provision and third one is standard provision now these provisions we are going to use in a uh, major project right now if you take a part uh, no of a, uh, if you discuss about the general provision that uh, these are the conditions of a contract and they apply as a whole right so again see uh, the the softness or the maintaining the quality will be depend on these provisions which type of provision in you are, you are using in the details specification if you are using detail specification means definitely you are going for the quality but again in that you will be having some other you no know, provisions three different provisions that will uh, describe or prescribe the work in a better manner right so general provision there are uh, no these are the only the um, conditions of a contract they apply as a whole whereas the technical provision now you will be having see these describes the technical requirement of each type of a construction 
Now here you will be having different tests also which test you have to carry on the field. Now how to maintain the quality even you know uh, all the three provisions are going to be deal with the uh, quality of material. There is no doubt in that but specially here in the technical provision it gives you the technical requirement where if you go to the standard specification there you will be having the standard you know, uh, items right standardizing the specification for the most of items of a similar nature if you are having a similar nature of a particular this one no so you can use for you can go for standard specification where you don't require the uh, you know lengthy process as that of technical provision where the lengthy process of specification is avoided and thereby much time is saved in the standard specification so there you will be having some constraint which type of material you are to use which type of right uh, means which quality of material you are supposed to use that will be fixed exactly and that only you have to take so there uh, they will you can say so, so much time there in the standard spe specification but if you go to the technical provision right so there you need to have some test you are supposed to carry out some lab test there on the field now again see this again this uh, technical provision uh, can be further no differentiate in three types or can be further classified in three types one is a specification for a material and workmanship second is a specification for performance and third is specification for priority accommodities priority accommodities see among these provisions general provision technical provision and standard provision technical provision is very important one right so as I said that uh, no uh, technical provision it contains the detailed instruction of uh, desired quality uh, they provides the uh, inspection and test during the construction also right and the technical provisions are uh, accordance with the uh, no uh, with, with, the, with the drawing of the work and they can divide in three types right uh, specification for material materials and workmanship specification for the performance and specification for the priority accommodities so first you have to understand the specification of materials and workmanship now here these specifications are written for uh, engineering structures such as bridges buildings no? all all kind of things for all kind of engineer work engineering works the specifications for material uh, and workmanship this is we are going to use right and uh, uh, by this provision a rigid control over the materials and work workmanship can be done this includes a physical uh, property chemical property electric you know uh, electrical uh, thermal acoustic properties so all these things will be there in this specification clear statement uh, no it is a clear statement about the inspection and procedure uh, test of material can be it will be mentioned that can be given there description of construction method for each item then uh, instruction no uh, on, on finalizing the work will be there in this specification for material and workmanship now that first specification see that specification for materials and workmanship it is going to do with the you know, it is going to deal with the structures right whereas the second specification that is specification for performance now this this is now this specification uh, are written for the equipments and machineries such as pumps motors right and the general uh, general uh, you know uh, features of this specification is about the they will be having the description about the machineries and equipments they will be having the uh, you know uh, designing and installation of machineries and equipments provision for special equipments will be given according with the you know with, with guarantee also so these they will be having some sequence there they will be having description design and installation then they will be having the provision for special equipments then they will be having the guarantee so all all these things will be there in the specification for performance and this is basically uh, only for the equipments and machineries and the third one third specification is uh, standard specification now this includes the commercial products which are standardized or patent now in this specification uh, in this specification name of particular brand uh, firm is mentioned so you are supposed to no, what you are supposed to do is that you are supposed to take only that particular item only or only that particular material only you are supposed to take. There will be mentioned a brand of that material. You are supposed to take that material only or that equipment only. So that we call as what? Standard specification. 
I hope you have understand this. This technical provision is very important. Three different provisions will be there. One is about the material and workmanship. Uh, second is about the uh, machinery's equipments, and third is about the accommodities, right? Uh, commodities proper uh, uh, priority for the commodities will be there. Standardization of com commercial products will be there, right? So now we'll go to the classification of specification. Now, if you check it out, the classification depending upon the method to be used, uh, you no, know, in describing a material for a method of installation, the specification can be easily classified into three categories. One is uh, open classification second is first is open second uh, will be uh, you no know, restricted specification and third is closed specification so we are going to discuss the first one that is open specification right now here in this open specification it gives uh, a physical and chemical properties of material it uh, you no know, it, it 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 complies the uh, test to to be carried out and other information on the site it, it it never gives the specification of equipments or the accommodities it gives only the specification about the material and how to execute that and which you know uh, which are the test you are supposed to carry out how to control the work that will be given in the open specification right and uh, it is generally used for the public works it is having few of the advantages like uh, uh, you know uh, it will be uh, no, there will be a so much concentration on the basic material uh, that the basic materials like uh, cement, sand, steel. So, no, all details about these materials will be given in the open specification. Whereas a true no competition will be there. It gives equal chance to the new product to compete there. So, there are two advantages of this open specification will be there. Even few disadvantages are also there that checking and testing as I said that open specification will give you the testing details about the uh, about the materials also even the you know this the standard dimension and the testing material will be there. So checking and testing consumes the time right it is a time consuming one. Um, then uh, control over quality it depends if you fail in the doing the testing. So there will be a problem in controlling the quality and effect on design also will be there you no know? um, then 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 as i said that there is a you no know, time consuming so these are the few advantages and disadvantages of open specification so i hope that you understand what it means open specification which is directly deals with the material and how to control over that now the second one is so second is uh, second classification is restricted specification now where you'll be having the choice of construction material is limited right choice of construction material is limited to the uh, to the uh, to the manufacturer to the two means manufacturer or a distributor right so manufacturer and distributor are restricted so contractor will be having very less choice contractor has to choose the material from the approved list only there will be a list given that you have to you know purchase the material from that particular uh, you know uh, the manufacturer or distributor only so that restriction will be there in this specification and uh, it is having an advantage that it promotes the competition among the manufacturer and to get their product uh, included into the approval list right so standard standardization will be maintained there in this this uh, specification but there are few disadvantages are there that there is a design the problem in the design say if a civil engineer says that i want that kind of a material which will not be there in that list then bringing that into the you no know, execution that will be a problem then uh, quality product will be a problem see if i mention a single brand now this brand only you have to buy so if so see there you don't have any choice the whatever quality of that brand will be there that you have to take so there will be a problem so it will be having uh, advantages also and disadvantages also so that we called as what uh, restricted specification and the third one is third specification is uh, closed specification now there will be an argument every time there will be an argument about this that no that there is a misconcept that uh, you may think that uh, this this uh, third classification that is closed specification if you read out that whole you no know, if you study that whole then you may think that uh, it may result in increasing the cost right it may result in increasing the cost but that is that is a misconception as i said that uh, there is a there is a there is a thing that you have to understand about this closed specification the materials or the product is designated by the trade name 
mentioning the uh, catalog number manufacturers uh, uh, no mentioning the manufacturers and sometimes a particular uh, no uh, distributors uh from uh, from from whom you have to purchase the product will be mentioned so you have to know it it is a just a kind of a restriction specification but here uh, you have to choose or you have to take only that only even you will be having a few of the choice in restriction but here in close specification you don't have any choice you have to take that material only so that that will give you you know that 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 will tell you that so i have to purchase the material from that particular vendor so that is costing me a lot even the same quality or the same kind of a uh, material will be available in the market with a less price but you, you are not supposed to buy that so that kind of a you no know, questions are going to arise in this close specification but it is having few advantages also that uh, you no know, competition of uh, you no know, will 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 be very high uh, so that uh, you you can you can go with the choice of a owner right and uh, completion of drawing has to be done for this you should prepare all the drawings within a shorter span so that you can uh, you know prescribe the material so that it will be helping out the contractor also so my friend see uh, this 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 is very important thing the specification is very important thing i'll tell you the the the, the thing how it will be there in the practical right so you'll be having a owner means the person who is having the idea he's a owner right then uh, bringing that on into the ground or into the reality the engineer is going to be work it out now to whom he is going to deal he is going to deal with the contractor now he'll take the idea from the owner and then he will prepare the plan and design estimation can be done and then he will give that work to the contractor so here the engineer is going to play a role of a moderator right he 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 is a responsible to satisfy the owner as well as to take the work from the contractor right so here this specification is going to play a major role now it is going to help all three you no know, uh, persons means it is going to help the owner to make sure that uh, he is going to get the work as he wants and it is going to help the engineer to take the work from the contractor as the engineer want and it is going to help the contractor how to work it out right so this is a very important thing specification is very important thing so in uh, upcoming classes we'll see different types of specifications specification about the you uh, know uh, different items so that you know uh, you'll be having some questions on those so we'll see that uh, how to uh, get the things done with the specification now this is what from my side i am professor bala saheb jamada thank you